Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, we have discussed how to install PyCharm and uh, Selenium in PyCharm. In this video, we will discuss uh, how to install Selenium web driver in PyCharm. So first, uh, go to the browser and uh, search for Selenium web driver. Click on the first link uh, that is the official website of uh, Selenium. Once you click on this, uh, you will get the official website. Click on this particular uh, downloads button and just uh, scroll down here. Uh, you will get uh, different uh, languages supported like C hash, Ruby, Java, Python and uh, JavaScript. Uh, in this case, we are interested in Python. So click on this uh, stable version of uh, Python. So once you click on this, uh, you will get uh, the home page of uh, Selenium Python in this case. Just go down uh, and then search for drivers. You can see here. All the drivers are listed for Chrome, Edge, Firefox and Safari. You can download uh, any of these things. In this video, I will download the drivers for uh, Chrome. So once I click on this particular link, uh, it will go to uh, the Chromium website where uh, you will see all the drivers related to the Chrome in this case. Uh, you can see the version number 102, 103 and 104. So first you need to cross check uh, what is the version of your browser. So click on this particular three dots, go to help and then click on about Google Chrome. So once you click on this, uh, you will see the current version. The current version is 104 in this case. So you need to click on this particular 104 and download the uh, web drivers. Again, uh, you can see the web driver for Linux, Mac and then uh, Windows. Uh, in this case, I'm interested in Windows. So I will select this particular Windows. Uh, irrespective of either 32 or 64 bit, you select this Win32. It will work on both uh, the cases. So once you click on this, you will be able to download it. So I have already downloaded it and then uh, I have placed this particular Chrome driver in my uh, uh, Selenium Python project. Within that, I have created a driver and then I have placed my chrome uh, driver underscore win32 i have already extracted also so this is the chrome driver actually now once this particular chrome driver is uh, installed in your python project uh, now you can use this particular chrome driver and then you can establish a connection with uh, any website and then you can do the automation testing so i will show you a very simple uh, uh, example in this case so first uh, uh, we will go to the PyCharm ID and this is the project what we have already created. Now right click on this uh, Selenium Python and then select a new and then select a Python file here. So here you, have, you can give any name. Uh, this is the first one. So I will give demo one and then uh, you will get this particular uh, environment where you can write your uh, program. So first we need to import the web driver from Selenium. So from Selenium uh, import web driver. So once you install this, uh, once you import this particular web driver, the next thing is to uh, import a, a service uh, package. So that is uh, from Selenium dot web driver dot in this case i'm using chrome so i will write chrome here and then i will import service if you are using uh, firefox you have to write uh, firefox here if it is uh, uh, some other browser you need to mention that one here so in this case i will import a service uh, package here the next thing is to create an object of this particular service uh, class actually uh, I will name it as ACR underscore OBJ, which is equivalent to uh, service. We need to pass a parameter to it and then uh, uh, we need to, uh, we'll be able to create an object. So what is the parameter is the location of your uh, uh, driver. That is, uh, as I said earlier, I have already kept my driver in this particular path. So I will select this particular path and then I will paste it here. Uh, one thing is I have to paste it in double quote so I will paste it here and then 
uh, one more important thing is I have to change this particular thing to forward slash that's a one more thing you need to remember in uh, Windows and then uh, you need to append this particular chrome driver dot exe also so I will append it dot exe now uh, what we did till now is we have uh, imported uh, the web driver and then uh, service uh, class we have created an object of this particular service uh, class now uh, we need to pass this particular service object to chrome browser okay so i will create a driver object here that is uh, web driver dot in this case i am using chrome so i will write chrome and then uh, service is equivalent to we have created a cr underscore object so this is the next thing we need to do so after this uh, what we need to do is uh, we can use different uh, functionalities of this particular driver you will get a lot of functionalities you can see here you can get dry get maximize windows service this that and all uh, you can use these particular things and then you can perform your automation testing so first we will try to use get and then we will try to connect to Google itself. Uh, let us say that. Let us say that I will connect to Google. Okay, so Google.com. So I will copy this particular path and then I will paste it here. Okay, so with this uh, you will be able to open the Chrome browser and then you will navigate to this particular URL in this case. Uh, if you want to maximize uh, this particular uh, window. You can use this particular function of uh, a driver that is maximize underscore window and once everything is done you can close this particular thing with the help of uh, driver dot close here so this is a very simple method with which you will be able to create a driver object and then uh, you will be able to connect to a particular uh, website and then uh, you can maximize that particular window you can do anything and everything finally you can close it so we will try to see whether it is working fine or not so i will click right and then i will click on run demo one here now it will take some time uh, i hope you can see uh, the window has opened it will navigate to that particular url that is google.com once uh, the web page is loaded the it will be maximized and then closed here so this is a very simple uh, program or a script we have written uh, to understand how can we create a service object and then uh, driver object with the help of driver object how can we perform some different tasks in selenium i hope the concept is clear in the next videos we will try to explore the different uh, functionalities of this particular driver object if you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.